welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're a returning person, hey, welcome back. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Um, today's two subscribers of the video are, okay, the first one is LaCoya. Thank you for subscribing. The second new subscriber is Misty. Thank you both for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead. I upload every single Sunday. Usually my fiance is here with me, but he is away. I'll get into that soon. Um, but first, let's do the two comments of the week. Okay, this one is from Sange. She says, I'm from Boston too. How cool. Never see Boston vloggers. You go girl. Thank you, Sange. Um, yeah, I know there aren't really many East Coast vloggers or YouTubers that like I follow or that I know of. Um, so I really do like to represent for the East Coast. I mean, there are a few small, I mean, there are a bunch of small ones, but no like really big ones. I'm not saying that I'm really big, but like, I wish there was like, I don't know, Natural85, if you guys follow uh, Natural Hair YouTubes, she's from Boston. Actually, she like lives in Massachusetts and every day I hope I run into her, but. No such luck. And the second comment of the week goes to, oh, Sydney Best. Keep the content coming. I was looking for Boston staycation ideas for myself, wife, and I'm glad to have come across your page. Thank you so much for commenting. I'm so glad that that video was helpful for you. You should DM me because I have so many other places that you should go visit in Boston if you just want to do a little staycation. So go do that. So it's not too long after my Seattle trip actually. Today's Saturday and I got back from Seattle on Friday morning at one o'clock in the morning. I left the airport and came straight home and I saw Mike for like a couple of hours like we hung out for a couple of hours awake and then we went to sleep and then I got up a few hours later and went into the office on Friday and Mike actually is not here he left that day um, and went on a boys trip with his brother and his best friend and his best friend's brother to New York and so they're doing like a food trip out there and they're just eating everything having fun he's sending me all the pictures of all the food that he's eating so I'm really happy for him but it's been a long time since we've actually like seen each other this is like the longest time we've ever really spent apart so it's kind of weird but so yesterday after I left the office I was just so 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 tired um, so I left the office even though everyone was like drinking beer and playing beer pong and by the time I got home for whatever reason I had all this energy so I spent last night kind of cleaning the apartment I'll insert some clips of that now I want to be daring baby dance the night away I let my head down if I want don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Uh, I kind of just hung out, watched TV, drank a little bit of wine, and now it's the next day. I've had the most productive day. Like, I knew I wanted to get a lot done this weekend while Mike is away because, like, I'm more productive when he's not here for whatever reason. So I cleaned a little more, and I filed my taxes already. It is February 8th right now. So, yeah, I filed my taxes. I edited the Seattle vlog to post tomorrow, and, yeah, I'm feeling pretty productive. We have like no groceries in the house, even though Mike was here all week. <coughs> I'm not gonna say nothing though. But we are gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, run some errands. I got invited to a Bumble, a Bumble like Valentine's Day event. So I'm gonna go to the store and see if I can find like a cute little red dress or a cute little red top or something to wear to that event. And then maybe something else for actual Valentine's Day because Mike is obviously taking me out to dinner and then I'm also gonna go grocery shopping and I'm also gonna get Mike his Valentine's Day present I have no idea what that's gonna be but I know it's gonna be a card and then like some treats and then something else so 
no idea what I'm gonna get him yet for sure, but we'll figure it out and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's get the day started. Like, I mean, I've already done so much, but it's like three o'clock now, but you know, let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna steal Mike's car for this trip. But where is my wallet? Oh, there it is. I'm always losing something, I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. Okay. So I have my wallet and that has everything in it and then I have my cell phone. Okay, so we are all set and I don't have the keys to the house, so my own keys. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna take the trash out and go shopping, and our first stop is going to be Target. So this is what I have so far. I got like a bunch of, like a bag. Chocolate golf balls. And this super cute card. And then I got this little cupcakes, sunglasses, and this pajama set. Gonna make a quick stop in TJ Maxx before I head to Home Goods before I go to the grocery store. <laughs> Holy crap, you guys. If I were aware of how freaking cold it is outside, I would not have left this apartment. I swear to you. It is freezing. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty much nighttime now. It's like 6 30. I think when I got on, I was like, oh, it's like 3 o'clock, but then I got in the car and it was actually almost 5. It was like 4 30. So it's 6 30, almost 7, I think. It's 7 o'clock now. So um, I'm back. It was a successful trip, I would say. I got everything that I needed at TJ Maxx um, the dress for the Valentine's Day like event thingy. And then I got, oh, where did I go? TJ Maxx. Oh, Target. I got all the stuff for Mike's cutesy little uh, Valentine's Day gift at Target and then I went grocery shopping. I know that I did not get everything that we needed for our groceries, but I just got like what I could, I have to be realistic, because they changed kind of like the rules um, about the bags. So we don't have plastic bags anymore, so it's like paper bags, or you buy one of those like reusable bags. So we have a bunch of those reusable bags. So here are a couple of them, and then there's like this, really big one that holds like way more um and i think this is a great policy for the environment and everything but it limits what i can carry up the stairs because they they really pack these bags up and they're super heavy so i can't carry that much stuff up into my apartment so i just got like a few of the basics, I got like one dinner plan, which I th think I'm gonna do curry chicken, and then I got our lunches for the week, which I'm gonna cook tomorrow, and I got snacks, eggs, like stuff for the cat, just like the regular stuff. So any other dinners, Mike will have to get it because uh, he works from home three days a week, so he is usually the person who goes grocery shopping anyway, and I don't have the patience or like the attention span to do it, and he's so much better at it. I never, I just like go in and I wing it, and he always has a list. He knows like what dinners he wants to make or he wants me to make. It's like, he's so much better at it than I am. So I'll leave the rest up to him. Um, right now, I like was hungry in the store and so I got one of those like pre-made meals. It's like my favorite like chicken wings from Market Basket and french fries. So I'm just going to eat that, watch TV and then unpack everything and then put together Mike's gift before he gets home tomorrow. So I want 
to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my hair This is like my favorite snack in the world. It's actual crap. You have to try it. It's so, so, so good. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. 